right. <clears throat> I admit it. I admit it. I can't. I can't lose any more platinum games. Well, I, that's well. I'm definitely going to lose more platinum games, but I can't lose as many without going insane. Um, I am temporarily benching Kindred. Not that I'm gonna not play it ever, but I am certainly stumped. I am certainly stumped, and by that I mean I do not understand the Kindred well enough. Well, I, there's a couple problems that I'm running into. Problem one, problem one is that, well, actually I should just, I should just speak in positives. I learned a shit ton playing aggro about the timings and I know where junglers are and I know where they're starting and I know when they're strong and I know when they're weak, but if I take fights with Kindred and I face these champions, it always hinges on some dumb shit. For example, like, like, oh, you got hit by a Silas E or you got hit by an Aurelia E, even though you're three kills up on this guy, like you just die. Um, it's getting extremely frustrating and feeling extremely shitty. And then the other thing is like, even though my ganking, like I understand when ganks can work, I also understand that when they're available, it's like a setup thing. And if the dude doesn't set you up, you're just fucking useless. And that's been my problem is that even though, even though I put all this work in, all this study in, and figured all this different shit out. It's the same thing. It, you go in, you get fed, and then an enemy team has like a fed fucking Caitlyn or something, and you can't touch them. You have to rely on somebody to go in. You can't fucking touch them. You can't. You're always just relying on somebody else to do the fucking job. It's infuriating. And then the other thing was that was really pissing me off was that. I'm always facing duos and they cover each other and I can't fix both problems. Like this guy will play an ADC, snowball bot lane, and then have a Yumi on him. And then I'm playing Kindred. It's a fucking 2v1. Infuriating trying to make it work. So I'm gonna wait until I climb up a bit more and then I'll, I might bring it back as a, as a pick. But I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm fucking... I'm frustrated with it. I'm getting on my goddamn nerves. I mean, it could be bad luck too with teams, but like if I can't offset the bad luck, do you see what I'm saying? Like, okay, let's say that I just had like, and I truly did have like bad teams. I just could never fix the games. I could never fix the fucking games. Ever. I could never fix them. Where did that guy go? Nice cheese, dude. Is that like DC? Like, what the fuck is that? Well, Hecram lost his whole top side for that, <clears throat> which is to be expected. <clears throat> he didn't lose his golems, but he may as well have. Sell the pot. I can't believe he's just going in. <clears throat> this guy is shitting on them like it's crazy. Pretty simple game when your Yone is owning the mid this hard. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the thing was that even when I was getting fed, even when I was getting fed as Kindred, it felt like I wasn't fed, man. Like, I don't know how to say it. It's just you're not fed. You can't take any ground. That's, I think that's why people, when they, uh, I, I think. 
honestly, I hate to put it squarely on this, but I feel like I feel like Duo Q really fucks up a ladder like this, man. Like that's what I'm finding. Duo Q fucks the ladder, bro. Cause I would like, I'd be like, oh, this guy wins with Kindred, and then I'd look him up, he duos. Sorry, if you want to talk about jungling, the big thing is just remember that you can't die in jungle at bad times. Like, that's obvious, but like with Kindred, I could never walk up. I could never do anything. I could never go anywhere. Like, let's say, let's say that I'm facing like, I don't know, a fucking Talon on the other team or something. And they get fed. I would be like walking through my jungle, just get invaded. Like, I, I can't outplay this shit. I don't understand. I do not understand how Kindred is winning uh, solo reliably through these brackets. I, I just don't. I, I, I obviously can't do it or something. Because the way, the way it winds up fighting, like the, the kiting, the way it goes for me is like, I see enemy champion <clears throat> and I'm Kindred. NA, I just walk at the guy, maybe dodge a skill shot, and then I just win because the guy can't fucking micro at all. Here, it's like these guys, I, if they if they're losing the trade, they know to like space out, and it's like you have to really extend yourself to ever get a fucking kill, and it, that's how it always feels with Kindred. It's like I am always like going deep, awkward, uncomfortable spot, and then it's just me. And then I get the kill. Maybe I luck out and get like two kills or something. I'm fed, but like I'm still, I have to do that over and over and over again. And then some guy's picking like this guy's got Silas right now. That guy's going to plow into me as, as Kindred over and over and over and over and over again. Five kills, six kills, eight kills behind. Doesn't matter. He's going to have a chance to kill me the entire game. Not to mention the fact that I, I have to be very delicate Moving into bush to bush. It's fucking insane. Because then you're supposed to rely on other people to pick up the slack is what it's supposed to be. Other people are supposed to pick up the slack for you and fix that, right? But that's not been my experience. My experience has been... Even though... And, and that's the thing. It was like we were talking uh, matchmaking algorithm. Okay, so I've lost a bunch of games. Supposedly, if you lose a bunch of games, you eventually get teammates that are like better than average, right? It's the same problem. It didn't matter. It was like a, it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to square up on this gank. <laughs> Your teammates should be good now. No, no, you just, yeah, like I said, I don't know how people are winning with it. I couldn't, I couldn't fucking do it. I was, it was cracking me up. Like, I just couldn't fucking. Make it work. So we're gonna stick. We're gonna stick with Nocturne until MMR is fixed, and then I don't know. We'll we'll try out Kindred again later, once we get higher up in the ladder. But I I don't think I'm gonna be doing it anytime soon until I feel like yeah. I, and the reliable the reliable problem was not the top laners for Kindred. The top laners you could deal with. It's the ADCs I could never deal with. Darius about to just ghost and uh, I guess he's not. Got a pretty good leash there. I'm debating on ganking mid. He just warded that. That's gonna be pretty unhealthy. They're really out of line. I guess they just don't think Nocturne will ever gank this, huh? Well, like I said, the uh, that is a that is a adjustment that I made just by playing Kindred more. Is uh, if I see shit, I'm more willing to ve to veer off now. <clears throat> even if even if it's gonna kind of hurt my farming a little bit, bot lane gank won that one, I guess. That's what I meant when I said like I'm more I'm definitely more willing to move early here. But like with Kindred, it's just, it's like impossible to do anything. 
like set anybody up or anything. I guess that that gank could have happened with Kindred. <clears throat> it's not like it's not like that's an only Nocturne gank. I think it might it might just be a sign of the times. It might just be a sign of the times. Like champions now are just not. If dude could slam Silas into your face when you're like, you know, you got like a multi kill lead, steal your ult, then out team fight you with a deficit. Like he could kind of do that with Nocturne, but not to the same extent, I guess. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Not to mention the fact you're not allowed to take any ground as Kindred ever. Like, oh. You ran into, you ran into enemy Talon. Oh, you ran into enemy Zed. Oh, you ran into a mage and she pressed R on you. Now you press R, but guess what? They walk away and now you're fucked. It's like a big, it's like a big, like everywhere you move is like super, super delicate. And then when you are fed, even you'll have like five, six, seven, eight kills when you are fed, you can never just take ground away. Like, uh... All right, hear, hear me out. Classic example. Game's kind of even. You're fed. Enemy team is on Baron. We're near Baron. The Baron dancing. You're fed. Your team isn't. Enemy team... Like, this is like, you've got to carry this game. You've gotten all the kills. You've got to carry the game. Well, you want to contest Baron. But... Every bush you walk up to, you can get grabbed or fucked with. Well, you can't go there. And you can't push anything. Because if you push something, your team just sits at tower, watches the enemy team take Baron, and then lets the enemy team reset. If you try to push something, they just sit two screens behind you, and they don't help you push. So what winds up happening when you play Kindred? Well, you watch them take Baron, they recall, they push mid, you wait for a fight that never comes, and then you lose. That has been my experience. I don't know if it's just like pure RNG, like shit luck or what, but that has been my vibe. That's been my vibe. It's like, I give everything away. I may, you know, or, or, or like last game, say I get the kills early, right? My bot lane throws. Because I wasn't there because I was trying to farm or I'm there and I like kite back with them or whatever And we just like keep again. We just keep like giving we never can like walk up That game we had in the Moomoo that's willing to go in what if we didn't right like what if we didn't have that a mid game hit late game hits Then I just I just watch it a whole game. I just watch watch the entire match I don't know where these win rates on champions come from and all I can think All I can think is how people are winning with these types of champions Is they're fucking dueling <laughs> That's all I can think Like I have dude in my friends list, uh, Elo Santa He fucking, he's just crushing Karthus bot lane Which would make sense Because most of the games are decided by bot lane so I think I think that is what it is. Can you help bot lane? Can you deal with bot lane? Are you bot lane? I guess. And maybe that's what it is. Like maybe when when this game is mechanically tight tight enough, because it definitely seems like the occasional top laner pop off happens, the occasional mid laner pop off happens, but usually where the games are decided seem to be on ADCs. I watched a few Kindred VODs actually, and it, j it seemed like, it seems like I'm going in the right direction with it. But at the end of the day, when I watch those VODs, it is just, it's just better players. Oh, this cast is fucking stupid. Actually, I don't know who picked first. I think Cassidy picked first. Well, Cassidy into this comp is not good. Maybe that's why Graves is such a good uh, ranged jungler though. I was thinking about this last night. I was like, that Graves can actually go where he wants. Like, he's ranged, but he's allowed to move. Maybe that's why Graves feels so good when uh, he's strong and why so many people can just, like, smurf with it. 
He's not very he's not very strong at the moment, but I didn't swap the sweeper, kill me. I would this would happen to me. invaded by Lee Sin actually it would be weird but it could happen so GP is chilling If I was Lee, I'd gank it. I think I completely pushed out, huh? What the fuck? And GP was full health, so I just figured recall. I don't see how we win 2v2 versus Lucian Lee Sin very easily anyways. This roam timing is pretty gross. I don't know how people pick casts and just fucking die so freely. Like the most important thing. The most important thing for casting. Don't die early. Do not die. All costs. That's the standard timing. Cassidy installs flash. It's 
looks sus. That looks sus to me. I was a little scared of Lee's encounter, but it never came. I didn't get level 6 off of that. Pretty strong. I should probably hit him again. I have flash if I'm countered, I guess. Close. Damn, that was too ambitious of a die by me. Stupid, stupid. At least Cassidy didn't get the gold. That's huge. It just went to Lee, thank God. Because if it had went to Cassidy, it would have been horrific. That would have been really, really bad.
GP now. I'm gonna go Black Cleaver first. It's gonna take a long time for for uh, Cassidy to come online. I think I think I'm fine to hold off. Look at this build. He's he's going fucking Roa. Scared. Must be no lease in here. If he was, he would already be here. God, what am I doing? All right, Cleaver at 16. I just clear everything out. I'm trying to get my jungle item upgraded. Beautiful.
Yeah, Death Stance again is good. This is a good three item spike into these types of comps, I think. Okay, she dead. So maybe I should cross on at least in top side. Run, bitch! Okay, cross that way, homie. Well, right now Nocturne's running really smoothly, um, but you know, long sample though. Like we, you can't just play a couple games and be like, oh yeah, this is great. All I know is that when I was running Kindred, it was a non-stop barrage of just shitty circumstances that I couldn't fix. No matter how I opened, I just don't get it. It's like, yeah, there's like a mechanical requirement, but it's also just like, you can't do anything. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, fed Caitlyn with a Yumi on her. Good fucking luck ever doing anything. You can't do anything. Your teammates won't engage it. You can't engage it. You just stand there with your dick in your hand and watch them carry. Yeah, this blue, blue jungle item on Nocturne, I can run all the way to bottom, threaten a kill, and run back to Baron and ult it in time. That's OP. That's OP. 
<clears throat> that's a that's a legit fucking rotation. I don't know if you guys caught that. I mean, yeah, if they're a bit more fed, that might be a risk, but I mean, I had like 6k health left. And I ran to the I ran to the corner. It was like that was like uh you guys ever do uh you guys ever play like sports in high school and shit or middle school suicides? It's like when you go to the end of the court and then back and then end of the court and back or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I think that was a funny sequence because that's literally what I did at the end. So right here, watch this. Let's see how fast they move, okay? Let's see. I, I think I didn't walk on vision yet, so let's see what they do. They see me on vision. They move pretty quick. When I touched the corner, they went. Okay, so now watch Nocturne. Here he goes. I mean, they're just DPSing free of charge. I have 5k health to play with. And I'm, I'm already in it. I'm, I'm in range of ult here. So I could go at any time. I could go at any time at 2.5 probably and get there. So that's pretty cool. I, I didn't know that. So yeah, blue trinket. Blue trinket's the truth. I don't know. <clears throat> it is what it is. I have to I have to accept it. Either I'm too old to play this fucking kindred or it's just a dumb idea. I I really don't think mechanically I'm that bad. I really do feel like there's a there's obviously mechanical mistakes, but the amount of options I have seems so minimal. You invade, okay, you pick up a kill. Okay, cool, you have a kill. Now Go farm up for a while. Hit your item spikes. Farm up for a while. Pick up kills along the way. Sure. Pick them up along the way. But one false misstep. One false misclick. And you don't do anything. And the other team runs you over for the rest of the game. Maybe I'm just too impatient for it. I mean, win rate. See, that's the thing. Is that technically Kindred, sh sh she wins. Like, she she wins. She's like one of the best junglers on the patch. So clearly, clearly she can win. Not when I play her though. Not when I'm playing her, she doesn't. Even in platinum, she, she wins, supposedly. But not when I play it. Even when I'm like, but I'm like, the thing that's getting me is that I'm not, I'm not like trolling around. Even when I made a deliberate effort to like play like slower games, faster games, even when my invades work, like just I'm not winning with it. I was made melee, maybe. I guess my point is, is that if it's that, if it's so good, <laughs> if it's so good, why without like with all the study, with all the fucking volume, right? If I put in a week, two weeks, I put in volume. I'm not, it's not, it's not revealing itself to me. You know, it's not like, it's not like, aha, I get it. Like every fight feels stressful as fuck. Every gank feels stressful as fuck. Like there's a chance that I'm going to, uh, misstep on a fucking skill shot or something. And I have to run through them to do anything because I never get any engaged. So it's like, I just don't get it. I don't get how people win with it. I don't understand. It should be working. It could just be it could just be that I need to just take a break from it. I mean, really. People still in your ult then outplaying you. Yeah, that's exactly. It's like, oh, you ran into Silas, he takes your ult. Oh, you ran into Zed, he ults you and then fucking goes to Narnia. It's like, well, how the fuck am I supposed to do anything about that? I, I just don't get how I don't get how people win with it. Or maybe it is purely just like they don't make those mechanical mistakes ever and I'm just making one too many every game and that's it. Like maybe it's just like one big error is all you're allowed. You're not allowed one big error ever mechanically and that's just what it is. You make one, you have to outplay every single person, kite out perfectly every single person. But that doesn't sound right because look at all these people playing it. I know they're not playing perfectly, right? I mean... 
They can't be. That, the same thing with this, this. They can't be. And they can't be trying as hard as I am to win. I don't know. It could just be pure. It could just be pure RNG too. Like you just get like, like you could have a lottery run where you just always get good teams for like ever. Right? I'm sure you could have a lottery run where you get just bad teammates for a week. Two weeks, I guess. You could have it. It happens in poker and this game's pretty fucking tight mechanically in Korea. So it could probably happen that you could just lose every fucking exchange mechanically to people or your team can. 